Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Helen Burton and I'm the host of this show, Skyrocket Your Business. We have Socrates, our owl, who will give us wisdom. And I just want to remind you of my book, Skyrocket Your Business in 30 Days While ha uh, Having a Cup of Coffee with Helen. And open the book to any page, enjoy the exercise, and don't forget your coffee. I went to a conference the last week, and the keynote spoke, uh, a speaker spoke, and she was very, very, uh, I would say human, uh, humanistic. And uh, she told us a story that every night before she goes to sleep, she uh, thinks about her day and what she's learned during the day and three people she reached out to and made a difference in their lives. And I thought, oh my God, that's really fantastic. So that night I got into bed and I thought about my day and I thought about one person who <laughs> wasn't gonna get carried away and look for three people. And um, it really made me feel better when I went to sleep. So I have a challenge for you. Try the exercise and let me know how you make out. Today, I'm so excited, we have a great guest. <laughs> and his name is Patrick McDonald. And Patrick has experience and a background in creative filmmaking. So I thought, oh my God, this will be great. We'll learn about filmmaking. And Patrick is also the director of my show, and I wanted you to meet Patrick. So thank you for joining us, Patrick. No problem. It's my pleasure. Oh, uh, thank you. And uh, tell us a little about yourself. Well, I grew up in Cranberry mm -hmm. my entire life, basically, and I went to Cranberry Elementary School, which was kindergarten through eighth grade. Okay. And then I went to uh, Prison High School, okay. which is one of the best high schools in the world, according to a couple magazines. Right. So yes. I feel very privileged uh, going there. And then I spent two years at Mercer County Community College, okay. where I got my associates in communications. Mm -hmm. And then I transferred to Fairleigh Dickinson University, where I majored in film and yeah. directing. Oh, that's great. And I'm so lucky to have Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he makes me look good all the time. <laughs> uh, why did you become interested in film production? Well, that's actually a uh, really cool story because ever since I was little I was really into the Power Rangers okay so th so that just opened like the whole world to me so right. I love creating like big stories big epic fantasies right and a great medium that I'm really proud of working in is film mm -hmm. so when I like create stories make big you know grand stories I guess right it just film is a great medium to get all my ideas across and just show people what my imagination is like, what my right. creative license can be mm -hmm. towards it, yeah. Oh, that's great. I remember when my grandson was around four, three, four, mm -hmm. uh, he was into Power Rangers. Oh, yeah. So the best. Right. <laughs> and so when I would pick him up from school and we spent time together and I took him out for dinner and then I brought him home and in the car we used to play a game <laughs> and we always played Power Rangers. <laughs> And I was one of the girls, <laughs> and he was the better of the Power Rangers, right. you know. And we were killing all people and everything. And if my daughter heard what was going on in that car, she would have killed me. <laughs> yeah. But my, we really had a good time. My mom was definitely similar. She was one of the girls, but I was the <laughs> best Power Ranger. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, so what empowers you when making a film? Um, Really, it's just like showing people what I'm thinking about. And like, right. I like being behind a story that I can really get involved with mm -hmm. and just be very passionate about right. and show other people what like I'm inspired by and maybe right. help inspire them as well. Mm -hmm. So what really empowers me is just like, here are my ideas. Here's like something relevant. Right. And how do you guys feel the same or different about it? Right. So it's really just like, if, if I feel good about it and if I'm very passionate about it, I hope mm -hmm. people who watch it are the same way. Yeah. 
And I know that when you're working with me, you're passionate about it, and yeah. it comes through. Oh, it definitely. really does, you know. I try to so. get everything on time and be very concise and precise and whatnot. Right, yeah. yes. <laughs> and it, it makes a difference. It, re oh, yeah. it really does. Um, pl I've always had this question. Uh, please tell us the difference between a movie and a documentary. <laughs> All right? Uh, documentaries are movies, but the difference mm -hmm. between, like, a feature film and a documentary is yeah. a feature film is written and like directed and they have a cast right and it could be fictional fantasy or realistic but mm -hmm. the directors have that creative license to uh, make it more dramatic and have more of an impact yeah documentaries there's no real script writing because right. they want the um, they want the reactions very natural right so they have a general story of how they want each one to play out. Right. But then uh, the, there's no casting. Mm -hmm. They get real people. They get real interviews. Right. And they tell the story that's completely realistic, no like dramatiz dramatization or anything. It's just okay. completely real. Oh, okay. I saw a movie, Blackfish, which is about orca whales living mm -hmm. in SeaWorld. Right. And everything was really real. And it was already very dramatic because of what killer whales do to trainers when they're locked in a cage. Wow. So documentaries can be very dramatic, but right. they're not really supposed to be. They're supposed to be like very real, very truthful, and sometimes even educational. Right. And uh, they have a story to them too, don't they? They, they do have a general yeah. story, but it's not really like it goes from one point, rising action, climax, end. It's more right. just like very straight and forward. Oh, oh all right. Yeah. 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 His, um, in Blackfish again, because that's one of the, my favorite exactly. documentaries. The, each part is like each part has a climax, climax piece of killer whales. Right. You know, uh -huh. doing what they do in SeaWorld. Right, mm -hmm. right. And so, uh, I could be wrong, but like a movie could be fictional where a documentary is realistic. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 So it's a. Uh, I've seen a lot of. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of movies, mm -hmm. and um, and I've seen some documentaries, mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed them because I felt it was really a learning experience when you watch them. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, a lot of documentaries are very educational. Like right. I said, yes. they they hope to teach people mm -hmm. something in the end. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's uh, that's really interesting. I'm glad that you cleared <laughs> that up from there. <laughs> Clarified. <laughs> I know you have recently been directing a new film, mm -hmm. so please tell us about the film. Well, a new film is called Chronically Single. Uh -huh. It's about this beautiful young woman who suffers with a chronic illness all her life, right. and um, her illness scares away potential boyfriends. Okay. So she's chronically single. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how did you, you know, uh, that you're doing this film, like how did you get it all together? Uh, uh, well, it's filmed up at Fairleigh Dickinson University. Right. And um, what we do is we send out a message saying who would like to be on our crew. Right. And then people get interested and they come to our meetings and mm -hmm. they just learn what their position is and what they do. Right. And then uh, we set up dates They, and on the dates we get everything ready. Right. And then there's also the process of casting our film. Right. We yeah. go on a site called Backstage Access, yeah. mm -hmm. where you uh, write down your film and like character bios. Right. And whoever's interested, they uh, contact you, or they okay. just say they're interested, and we pick the ones that are either the best actors or look the best part. Right. And we contact them and see if they, we can set up an audition with them. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they go through an audition yeah. with. And how long does it usually take to make a film? Uh, it can range. It depends um, how long it is. Right. Like a 20-minute film, which was chronically single, it took right. six days. Oh, okay. So oh, it right. took uh, three weekends. Oh, okay. Oh, if it's okay. 40 minutes, it'll take longer. Like right. each film, no matter how long it is, it takes longer depending on how long the film is. Right. Like a romantic comedy film that's an hour, that'll take a month. Oh, okay. An action film that's... Um, like an hour or two, that'll take 60 right. days. Oh, okay. So okay. it just continues on like that. Oh, all right. All a right. three hour epics a year. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you specialize in one type of film? I'm actually a director. Oh, yeah. I went into FDU yeah. directing, yes. but also I've been recently been doing well with lighting. Okay. So I'm trying to do lights and whatnot. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So it's a, but do you pick a certain you know film or documentary that you would be interested in, like a subject matter or? Um, really, I'm into most things. Right. Um, I'm not into horror at all. Right, I don't yeah. like horror, but like comedies, right. action adventure, anything like that, I right. would be very willing to participate in, in any way. Okay, all right, that, mm -hmm. that, that sounds good. Yeah. All right, yeah. good. It's not horror. No, no horror. horror. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't like action too, you know, because then I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna get hurt. Um, uh, t uh, why did you put, uh, you know, pick this particular film that you're working on, you're directing? Uh, one of my very good friends, Emily Cooper, uh -huh. she created this whole story. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I was, we, we were best friends since I started FDU. We just became very fast friends. We clicked instantly. Right, And yeah. we just started talking about it um, last year, I think, or, well, last semester, I guess, uh -huh. so in the fall. We were talking about it, and I said, like, I'm interested to direct it. Okay. Because I read her script, and it was very right. powerful because it was a subject that's not addressed often enough. Right. So yeah. I thought it was really good, and I would really like to direct it. Right. And then she said, sure, and we kind of directed together. Oh, okay. Because she's, like, telling me, like, what she had in mind. Right, And then yeah, I sure. translated it. And we just worked very well. We had a really good rapport with one another. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I went a couple of weeks ago to McCarter Theater, and they're putting on a new play, and they're in rehearsals. And uh, the director was there, and the uh, playwright was there. Mm -hmm. And the playwright was like 30, you know. And uh, the director, uh, and that you could see how they worked together. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was question and answer. And they also had um, like a scene. They did a, a short scene, you know, from the play. So I, we were all inviting guests, you know, to come. And uh, I can't wait to see the play. You know, it was like a teaser. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's, uh, that was the first time that I ever went to something like that, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I've always had like a desire, but I haven't done it, of like community theater like going and working on the back, you know, oh, behind uh, the scenes, you know yeah. what I mean? And I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, my mom actually, she um, okay. she did the set. She did like the background set for the Cranberry Elementary plays. Oh, okay. So oh. she did Into the Woods, Peter Pan, Aladdin, oh, yeah. oh. and they're absolutely beautiful. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. all right. I have to meet your mom someday. Yeah, yes, definitely. yes, yeah. Uh, do you go to ShopRite in East Windsor often? Yes. We, we do too, like every day. Oh, all right. So if we see you, uh, okay. yeah. all, all right, you can introduce <laughs> yeah, me. Exactly. All right, all right. And maybe I, maybe she can even come on the show and talk yeah, about, maybe. you know, how she put the scene, the uh, the scenes together and everything. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're pretty yeah. wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, so. Um, what do you hope to accomplish by telling the story of, of the film that I, you directed? Well, again, I hope that people understand what people with chronic illness have, mm -hmm. since it's not addressed often, like I said. Right. Um, so I just want people to realize like what they're going through, like walk right. in their shoes and see how difficult it is right. for them to deal with this. Right. And don't be so quick to judge or quick to think they're a liability or anything. Just like right. understand them, uh, you know, like figure out who they are as a person and then exactly. if they have an illness, that's really sad, but treat them as a person, not as a patient. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm a coach and I uh, went to a workshop one time and they had us think of a person in our lives that we were having, you know, a little mm -hmm. problem with. And so think about First, they had us think about what we wanted to tell that person, mm -hmm. you know. And then they had us think about what it was like being in that person's shoes. Mm -hmm. And boy, did it change your perspective, yeah. you know. 
And I've used that exercise a lot with my clients, you know. So, because sometimes you're so angry at a person, you don't see what they're going through. Exactly. Yeah, and you meet somebody, and uh, and you really don't know what's what their life is really about. Right. You know. So. Only well, when you do realize, you can see like, oh, I see where you're coming from. Right. And then you're a little more gracious or nicer to them. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And you can forgive them. Yeah. You know, in a, in a way. That, yeah, that's really good. Uh, so please tell us about, uh, you know, you brought a scene which we're going to yeah. look at in a couple of minutes. So please, you know, tell us about the scene that we're going to be looking at. Uh, the main girl, whose name is Violet, played by Ashley LaSelva, okay. she just uh, was broken up by her most recent boyfriend while she was in the hospital. Oh, okay. She had a flare-up, and, and so she went to the hospital, and her recent boyfriend broke up with her. Yeah. So her uncle, Uncle Marty, comes and comforts her and tells her that you don't need a boy to be happy. You need a hobby and a passion that makes you happy. Oh, true words couldn't be spoken, <laughs> yeah. So, all right, why don't we watch the scene now, and, uh, and then we'll come back and we can talk about it. I'm tired of being alone. How do you do it? You've always been single and you're happy. Well, actually, I wasn't always this way. Okay, I, I dated. I dated a lot. And I learned a thing or two from it. Like what? Stop looking to other people to give you happiness. It doesn't necessarily come from other people. I guess I never thought of it that way. Your passions and your hobbies, they won't disappoint you. They won't leave you. They won't cheat on you. They'll always be there for you. Hey, you got your writing. Don't you ever give this up, okay? If it makes you happy, of course. Thanks, Uncle Martin. Of course, anytime, sweetie. That's All right, it. thank you. Uh, that was great, Patrick. And, you know, what they talked about is so true. And uh, it's you have to be happy with yourself mm -hmm. before you can, you know, be happy with other people. Definitely. And it's, uh, I always remember somebody saying uh, that uh, if we always say yes to somebody and we forget ourselves, we become resentful. Mm -hmm and how we should take, stop, and see if the situation works out for us. So I really love what you did, and uh, I really, my heart broke for her, you know what I mean? I was really into that, you know, short clip. It Thank was you. really good, very good. Thank you. So, um, you know, tell us how, um, you know, while you were directing the uh, film, what it was like and, you know, uh, what, you know, what challenges you had and things like that. Uh, the most challenging thing was just getting the right, um, right, you know, uh, expressions from the actors, like right. what, what they're feeling. Right. Because actors, they know how to act. Like, they, that's what they do. Oh, right. You just yeah. have to tell them, like, what scenario they're in and, uh -huh. like, what just happened, like think of something sad, happy, whatever. Right. And that was like, it was my favorite challenge. Right. Like it's not really, it is hard getting actors, but like it's just really fun just getting them to, you know, be like who they are as, right. as like that character. Right. And yeah. it's really just fun just working with them. You have to right. build up like a very good friendship with them. Right. And just if you be like, that's my number one philosophy when working with actors is right. just be friends with them uh -huh. because they're people too. And you know, they're just fun to really talk to. Right. And yes. you know, it's yeah. just get the right reactions and it'll make a great film. Yeah. Now, how did you uh, pick these two? You know, uh, they auditioned and yeah. yeah. They, they auditioned and they just really, when they did their lines, they were just really good. Like their auditions were right. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They really um, looked the part and the, red, the, the, 
the way they read um, their scene, it was just right. like, that's exactly who I want for Violet or who I want for Uncle Marty. Right. All that. Yeah. 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 And it's, uh, now when will the uh, film be, you know, out so we can look at it? Well, the first, the premiere of yeah. it will be May 3rd. Okay. And then after that, we're going to hopefully send it to film festivals all around the state. Oh, okay. Okay. So where are you going to have it in May, in May 3rd? On May it's going to be up in East Anhover. Oh, okay. In, at the AMC, which is near Madison. Oh, okay. Okay. And, and that'll that's... be the first showing. Oh, okay. And then everything else afterwards will spread out. Spread out. Yeah. Okay. Have you done this before? Yes, actually. Um, not last semester, but the year before, I did my senior thesis. Oh, okay. Which okay. was an action film. Oh, okay. And, right. yeah, but it, it's not really out, but, you, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you had experience <laughs> yeah. in doing this and everything. All right. Yeah. That's really great. So do you bring your Power Rangers into the <laughs> films? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can definitely direct with them. Have, uh, like, right. Yeah. <laughs> At home, you have yeah. them come around. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 please share with us some of your secrets for success in getting your, uh, you know, films out. Um, my secret for success is you usually just like start creating things. Just start, right. start making things. Like it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. Right. Just create something, make a film about, it, and put it out there. Right. For people to see it because mm -hmm. people will like it, and you'll just try to get more people to like it and. Get a bigger following. It doesn't matter what it is. Just get yourself out there. Right. Apply right. to things, you know. Yeah. Just work on as many films as you can, and, you know, you should be fine. Yeah. I know, like, I write, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a blog. And I'll write my blog, and I'll say, eh, you know. But then I go back, and I tweak it a little, mm -hmm. and then I'll put it on my blog, and then I get comments, and I feel so good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's just something that you have to pursue if this is what you want. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's uh, it's really great. Definitely. It's good. Uh, what advice would you uh, you have for someone starting in the film business? I know you just yeah. told us to just get it out there, but what type of courses could they take? Um, well, first of all, like. There aren't really any courses that can teach you how to be personable or how to be a good filmmaker. Right. It kind of just comes naturally. Right. Um, but, you know, try, if you're really interested in a film, try to go to a good film school. Right. Or a good communication school and just learn everything you can about mm -hmm. cameras, lights, people. Right. And just try to uh, be friendly and you'll mostly be friendly and be good at your job right, right, and then right. you'll find people who want to work with you right yeah and I think it's uh, you know it's very important to be good yeah you know but it's very important to uh, you know be uh, friendly that people can you know feel comfortable with you yeah. and that they want to work with you yeah yeah yeah. If you're good, at, like if you're really good but not a really nice person, people will just be like, you're good at what you do, but I'm not really yeah. interested in working with you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. When you were in high school, did we did you do plays, you know? Yeah. I, um, I was in the drama class. Oh, okay. And I was in theater. I was heavily in theater. Oh, okay. So I was an actor. Oh, okay. Then I realized I like film more, so I oh. got more into that. Oh, all right. Yeah. When are some of the films you were in? Uh, films or like, uh, a play? I'm plays. sorry. I yeah. was in Into the Woods. Oh, okay. I was the wolf. I was in Peter Pan. Oh, okay. I was Nana, the dog, and the crocodile. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> um, I was in Huckleberry Finn. Oh, okay. As the lawyer. Oh, all right. I was in uh, Spoon River Anthology. Oh, okay. As Reverend Sibley. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I was all just right. in many different Us plays. plays and, yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's fun. I uh, I remember I had a class in uh, in college, a uh, literary class, and we had to write a short story. And I wrote the f uh, short story, and everybody loved it. And I said, "Oh my God, I'm going to be a writer," <laughs> you know. And it yeah. was, but that that's really my talent, you yeah. know. And I really enjoy it. So it's a, but I went into accounting. You know? <laughs> I thought that would pay off. <laughs> 
<laughs> I could get the job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. we are. Um, so uh, please tell us how people can get in touch with you. Well, my email is, which I prefer. Yes. My email is Patrick period McDonald 06 at gmail.com. Okay. That's Patrick dot McDonald 06 at oh. gmail.com. Okay. And then my cell phone is 609-240-3070. Okay, and um, you know, I'm sure that uh, people who are interested in filmmaking, you know, uh, most of the audience is business owners, but I'm sure that they know somebody who would be interested in filmmaking. Yeah, they're you know? interested, so, just contact me and I will either help you or point you in the right direction or uh, that's you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. All right, fantastic. <laughs> I have some breaking news. We're changing the name of my show to Skyrocket with Helen Burton. And uh, I'm going to be interviewing men and women and children who are very creative and have a passion. So we're going to learn about different things. And uh, we'll also have nonprofits and also business owners who uh, are very passionate about their businesses. So keep. Uh, watching on my show and you'll meet some very interesting guests and Patrick will be uh, directing my show yes. <laughs> and uh, so Patrick give us the information about how people can contact you and that's patrick.mcdonald06 at gmail.com and my phone number is 609-240-3070 all right, thank you. And thank you so much, Patrick. Oh, no problem. It's my uh, pleasure. Oh, it was really great. And I, I want to go on May 3rd and see <laughs> the film. And uh, also, uh, thank you for, you know, sharing with us, you know, what goes into making a film. Mm -hmm. And also, what the difference between a documentary and um, a film is, yeah. you know. So thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Right. And you know that Patrick's going to be behind the scenes with us. Yes. All right. Every, every thank time. You. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.